Why don't Arizona cities require residents to conserve water? It's simple, really. You know what it is. It's your yeah. boy Charles with So Rats. Just be so you. Be comfortable in your own skin and people will love you for it. <clears throat> Let's jump right into it. I'd like a glass of water. So I'm reading an article out of AZ Central today, and the headline of that article is, Why don't Arizona cities require residents to conserve water? It's simple, really. I mean, that's the whole headline, the, even including the it's simple. And I don't know if you guys knew it or not, but a while back I did an article on how, you know, um, the water reservation, the water reservoirs for Arizona and California and some of the western states here are quickly running out of water. We talk about the Colorado River and Lake Mead. So these reservoirs are like at 35% capacity on what they should be to provide enough water, you know, for people. So Arizona, the state of Arizona is trying to figure out how they're going to deal with the water shortage. California is dealing with the water shortage their way. They've already issued mandates in California to use less water. Um, but it looks like here in Arizona, those mandates are coming to us pretty soon. Which makes me think, like, how are we going to react to mandates? Because we know these folks around here, these old conservative folks around here don't like no mandates. The whole gist of the thing is the reason why Arizona hasn't started mandating, um, you know, using less water is because we're not at that stage yet. And look, I'll read a little bit more here. It says nearly, uh, nearly all Arizona cities will mandate eventually. Yeah, so we're just not at that stage yet. Um, two cities in Arizona that are at stage one of this so-called mandate plan is Scottsdale and Tucson. It says um, this in particular because um, Lake Mead has reached its first level of shortage. Scottsdale and Tucson have already moved into stage one of their plans. Scottsdale will no longer make water available to those who live outside city limits and is asking residents to voluntarily conserve 5%. So already in Scottsdale and in Tucson, um, you know, you know, the Arizona government has been you know, telling people, hey man, you need to use less water and here's some of the things that you could do to use less water. Um, but even Scottsdale and Tucson are not yet at that point where mandates have to be put in place. But there is some good news in this article out of AZ Central. Um, and I'll read it here. It says, if you leave, live in Phoenix at least, it says, um, it's also worth noting that while Metro Phoenix Phoenix's largest cities are home to half of the state's 7 plus million population. They use 11% of Arizona water supply. Even drastic cuts in, in use among these cities probably wouldn't be enough to keep Lake Mead from falling deeper into the tier of shortage. In, in tier, you know, deeper into shortage. Um, so yeah, so I live in Phoenix. That's good to know that. Even though Phoenix you know, and, and surrounding cities host about, you know, half of the state of Arizona's population, it's good to know that we only use about 11% of the, of, of, the, of the state of Arizona's water supply. So if you live in the city of Phoenix, they say, hey, don't worry so much, but you should still practice conservation methods. But residents of the city of Phoenix are not the major contribu contributors to the shortages in our water reservoirs late, uh, like Lake Mead or you know, like Colorado River or something like that. So that's good to know. Yeah, y'all. So, yeah. So, listen. I know it's hard because, believe me, I, I, I don't do it. <laughs> I don't do it nearly as much as I should. But... If you live in Arizona, think about conserving water. If you're brushing your chops, think about turning off the water. Brush your chops, then turn it, turn on the water when needed. I guess this is important if we want to avoid any type of mandate by the state of Arizona to use less water. And who knows what that looks like? You know damn for sure if there's any sort of mandates coming from the state of Arizona, they're going to hit the poor folks first. So... So, um, use less water. You know what it is. It's your boy Charles with So Rats. Just be you. Be comfortable in your own skin and people will love you for it. Check me out on Live 365 on So Rats Radio. You can download the app on Android or um, Apple. 
um, check me out on um, SirRatch.com. Check out a lot of the content. You can also access my radio station there. Um, yeah, so until next time, y'all, use less water. Peace.